Hi all, how's it going? Wait, I'm trying to ask questions in a video. Well anyway, today I thought I'd talk about visiting other countries' villages from the Dream Mansion. Yes, you can do that. You are not limited to just your own local country. Not region locked in that way, but you can't stick a Japanese game in your US 3DS and stuff. I'm on a tangent. Anyway, so, as you may know, a bunch of peoples have got their hands on early copies of the game for some sort of mayor program. So, now, there are other villages out there that are not just from Japan or Korea. So, let's take a look at them. Let's um, take a look at them. Why am I speaking like this? Anyway. Are there any villages from Germany? I don't know from this village. Ooh, the only German village at the time of this recording. Eleanor, you are number one. I don't even know if you can understand me. Well, anyway, how about UK? Moo from Moo Town? Matt from Derp Town? <laughs> you should have called yourself Derp. <laughs> what about America? <laughs> Apparently, if you're American and you're playing Animal Crossing, there's a 33% chance your name is Chris. Okay, so I want to show you something. Something that makes me a little sad. And I hope that this is improved or fixed in a future patch. But anyway, lizards! <coughs> That's an eight character long village name. Did you know that the Japanese version only features six characters for character names and villages? This is because of a different text input thingy, but anyway. Let's see if I can search for lizards village. I can only input six characters even when searching. Alright. Lizard is the best I can input, so let's search for that. What? No results? What about if I try... N F G Nothing? Ugh. Oh, that means in order to use the search feature, you have to input the name exactly. But lizards! Village is eight characters long, I can't search for that. Uh, it's a good thing that mayor of lizards name is just Kate. I can search for that instead. But that means if your village and character is seven or eight characters long, I can't look it up. Now I sound like a stalker. New feature in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Anonymous Stalkers. TM. If you were wondering about the two Japanese villages that showed up, that's because one of their other characters is named Kate. I'm thinking that also means that if you have no Japanese, Korean, or Chinese input, you can't search for those villages either, so it's a good thing I did stick to English characters for my village. Now, there are the dream addresses, so that you can go straight to their village by inputting the 12-digit dream address, but names are just so much easier to remember than 12 numbers. Well, for most people. Anyway, let's have a brief look at this American village. Lizards! Don't mind me, just stealing some tools. I feel like a tool. Or six. Whoa! That tree is tiny! Ah, it's the Pattern Walrus! Let's see, can I steal some pro designs from America? Totoro, Totoro, Totoro. Strawberries? Well, it's possible. Right, check this out, our parkers. Wait, retail, wait, how cool is that? When you visit a foreign town, it actually changes the artwork of the signs appropriately. Lol, oh, it still comes up with our parkers when I look at the sign or door though. So, check this out. 
We've got Japan and Korea's R. Parker's, America's Retail's, German's, uh, Fund Club? I have no idea how to say that. Spanish's Recycler J. Arthur's. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that one. And more. If I speak to the villagers, it's still my game's language, though. Wow. All the villagers are multilingual, and they can speak to you in your own native tongue. They're crazy. I suppose being a computer kind of has the advantage there. At least I can be a little bit more original. These guys are like set scripts, you know. Once you've read them, you've read them. They can't say anything new. After a whole year of playing this game? Yep. Let's check out the house. Oh, so that's where they're using the custom strawberry pattern. Well, anyway, grand piano span time. And the West Room? Oh. I think it's mandatory for new players to make an Nintendo Room. I can't say that I was not one of them. North room? Nice, spacious, bathroomy place. Hooray for not being so cluttered like my village is right now. East room. This is the angry chair. Grr. Yeah, because we all have famous kid peeing statues watering our carpets. Right? I've been to Belgium. I saw waffles. <laughs> I saw some other things too. Upstairs? Mermaid Mermaid! Time to sleep in a random person's bed. The Goldilocks and the Three Bears story comes to my head when I do this. Okay. And the basement? Sweet entertainment room. Okay, so what does Kate have to say to me? Okay, apparently you're magical. I feel compelled to comment on your excessive use of caps, but anyway. It's crazy seeing the English game text format, it's all compressed looking and stuff. As in, the text is closer together. Maybe that means that you guys can say more stuff in English in one sentence than I can. Oh well. I can still get my point across. In multiple sentences.
Well, anyway, to answer some common questions about dream visits, no. You can't take anything from their village back home, apart from their patterns. Anything you pick up here stays here. So when you wake up, it's just like, you know, in a normal dream. Can't go to sleep. Dream that you won lotto and then wake up with a million dollars. That would be cool though. Well, anyway. Essentially, you're visiting a copy of their village. So anything you do won't affect their village either. So you can pretty much do anything you want. And the owner of the village would be completely oblivious to it. I can sneeze in the player's face and say pants. And they would never even know. Unless they watch this video, but anyway. You can murder their trees and trample their flowers and burninate. Wait, this game doesn't have a burninate feature. Well anyway, at the end of the day, it's all but a dream. Hey look, it's Nintendo Fangirl. Beware. She's just admitted to the internet. Her desires to kill Teddy. Hey Nintendo Fangirl, I'm dancing in your video. Wait, you're ignoring me? Well, that's it. I didn't like your trees anyway. German Village! Elena! Persona! Yes! I eat cherries in front of your face! By the way, why are you wearing sunglasses at night? I thought it would be like this, where I can't see anything anymore. Oh wait, it's the end of the video.